This video chart presentation is Skinny Nutritional Corp. Skinny trades on the Bolt Board Exchange on ticker SKNY. It's a very nice looking chart. It looks like it's making higher lows. Price per shares now move back over top of the 50-day moving average. Bollinger Bands are starting to trend upward. RSI is telling us the momentum is coming into the play. And the stock closed relatively flat last week, but it held gains from the prior week. And as such, it's going to stay on radar to continue with upward pressure. See a very nice look in the MACD, moving back towards zero right at that critical point to make the break through the money line. And that's what I'd be watching for right now. You want to see the 12 and 26 EMAs push through zero because it's a very bullish position if that happens. Coming off a bit of a PPO ADX pinch, a different sort of configuration where the negative DI stayed down relatively low even though the ADX got up pretty high. Coming off that pinch, I always want to see the PPO pushing back through zero. And the ADX, now down around 20, is indicating that that downward trend is losing a lot of strength. So now what I look for is curl back up in the ADX, break back through 30, put it into true trend mode, and show the upward trend has started to gain some strength. Nice look to the money flow index, holding over top of 50. Again, very bullish position. Accumulation distributions made a sharp move upward, showing there's a lot of accumulation going on in this stock over the last month. And similarly, the shake and money flow, holding in the green, saying that buying pressure is outweighing selling pressure over the last 20 periods. CCI did dip back down, but once again, back over top of the zero mark. Again, bullish position. Full stow, basically been down below 50 for the better part of nine months. Stow is a gauge of momentum. And what I always want to see in that stow is almost the direct opposite of this. I want to see it break through 50, hold on top of it, shows that bullish momentum is staying in the play. And right now, challenging 50, I'd look immediately for that upward pressure to continue. And then any pullback, hold over top of that 50 mark. Tricks, much like the MACD, at an important point where you want to see it break through and hold above zero. It's a much stronger sign of trend if that happens. The RSI is also a gauge of momentum. Reading it is very similar to the full stow. Readings over top of 50 indicate bullish momentum. And it's important for the longer terms, the red and gold lines, the 14 and 21 RSI, to hold above that 50 mark. Because it's pretty clear to see when those components over top of 50, price per share is moving upward. So with 7, 14, and 21 RSI's position where they are, it's a very nice look for momentum to potentially continue in this play and continue the upward path that the price per share has been on recently, making higher lows. From a support and resistance standpoint, some pretty nice support right there through that 007 area. Of course, it dips all the way down to 006. I'm not zoomed in close enough. I believe the stock actually closed at 0078 on Friday. So the 007 mark happens to be a nice point of static support because it keeps about a 10% stop loss. Importantly, in the near term, I'd watch this price per share try and hold over top of this 50-day moving average because ultimately I want to see that 50 curl and start to make its way upward and move towards the 200-day. And in general, it's just a much more bullish position for the price per share to be trending over top of the 50. On the resistance side of things, I want to see if volume is going to pick up and blow through 008 and hold above it. I'm not really talking about the idea of it closing at 0081 or 0082. I want to see the volume definitely increase and see this move up towards 009. Just to reiterate the idea that the new uptrend is strong and that people are seeing it as a buying opportunity. A key level of resistance is going to come in right there around the penny mark. It's always a psychological barrier. Price per share hasn't closed above it in the last two months. And it'll mark a key spot for this to continue to make higher highs along with the higher lows and firm up the uptrend. Volume actually diminished a little bit heading into the weekend. But it was a holiday shortened week and trading volumes across the board were pretty thin. And even with that 1.8 million shares, it's still about average or maybe even slightly above average for this stock over the last three months. So with people returning from vacations this week, I'm definitely going to keep my eyes peeled for an increase in volume and to see if the price per share can continue to hold over top support and blow through resistance at the double zero eight. If the upward pressure can continue, see how it reacts at the penny mark. Beyond that, I'd look for more resistance around the 014, 015 mark, but that's down the road. I always stay near-term focused first and look for the small things to lend support for larger moves in the future. Those are the things that I'll be looking for in the SKNY chart. But as always, it's merely my interpretation. Thank you for watching and trade smart.